open. It is 7.30. Uh, members present are Art Edgerton, Rick Madden, Greg Walsh, myself, Andy Stevenson, Agent Bob Clark, and Administrative Assistant Mary Gurney. Um, please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on PAC TV Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Uh, let's see. So, following the agenda here, our first one is 7:40. Um, so we have some discussions first. We can take care of the Conway School of Landscape Design, the open space plan. That was a letter that was yeah. in the folder. Yeah, that's okay. in the fo it was it was in the folder. Um, the Conway School. We're not 100 percent sure yet. We haven't got our okay, that, but we're on the agenda uh, that they will do it as a college. Degrees. It's a graduate program. Graduate program. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, for some of 30, 36, right? 6,500. 6, five, yeah. All right, six, $6,500, they do a complete open space program that's, uh, from what we see, about a $27,000, dollars or, or more thing if you were going out and trying to hire someone else to do it. Okay. And we were looking at getting the money from CPA, or trying to get the money from CPA. But uh, after really checking into it, we already have CPA's money. Last year uh, at town meeting, they put $100,000 into the Conservation Open Space Trust that we, we have from the CPA, and checking with CPA people, it basically has doesn't have any strings attached to it as long as we use it for an open space projects so that this 65 can come out of that without having to go back before town meeting or before CPA. Okay. And what are you going to do, just clean it up or beautify it, flowers, shrubs, stuff like that? Or? No, this is the uh, the written, the whole written part. Oh, oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, they're no, going to lay it all a, out. All right. this, is a, this is the written, it's maps of the town and and all oh, that okay. we have a we had a open space report but it's now 10 or 12 years old since yeah. it was brought up and anything that hasn't been kept up every third year then it becomes useless but if we are looking for any grants from the state at any time we have to have a current open space plan before they'll even consider any of the grants oh, okay so actually they we our open space people have been working on it themselves but you know we've got two or three volunteers that 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 are working full time jobs and have families and all that and and they're working but it would be a long time before they could get it all together and one of them stumbled on this and brought it to our attention. Excellent. <coughs> okay. I think at this point what they're looking for is the technical work. Yeah, yeah, it's the technical work, just the maps, the figures, they're all of that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, there. have everything right, yeah. scaled. Okay. Yep. That's on the agenda for the town meeting, or no? We no, didn't. it's on. It's it is. It's up here. I, in fact, I'd just like to make to make a motion uh, because we've already done it once earlier when we first went in. But make a motion that when that we go ahead with this project and you know, and let anyone who has to know know that the money is available as soon as we're accepted and we get the right paperwork from them. I'll second that. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, anything else on that? No? Okay. Uh, so the motion's on the table to allow the Conway School of Landscape Design to create or confirm the yeah. town's open space plan, yeah. I guess. Create and confirm, yeah. Create and confirm, okay. Uh, it's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye, sir. Okay. We have five more minutes. Uh, the chemicals. Scott's not here. Do you yeah, want to? have to wait for Scott. Okay, that's what I figured I'd ask. That's all. Just to see where they went or what they were for or whatnot and go from there. So. Yeah. Um, Scott has a shoulder injury. I don't know if anyone knows it. He's 
I did not know that, no. but okay. Yeah, he's, yeah. I know I haven't talked to him since Thursday night. He was going in for another MRI on Friday. I haven't <coughs> since, but whether he's been in, been in pain. Okay. So it might be a little bit, but we'll, we can keep that on that. Mayor, if you could make a note just to keep that in the next discussion on the whenever our next one is in case Scott's here, please. That way it doesn't go by the wayside. Thank you. Mayor, is this a copy you gave to me? That's your, you requested that, okay. yes. Thank you. Okay, and uh, we still have four more minutes of ongoing business with wild parsnip. It's in the road layout, but not at, not underneath the asphalt. No. Um, it's okay. not on the side. Well, well so he's still I don't know. I have to check the side. I'm not sure well, about the well, side. I was under the impression that we we're doing the conservation part of it on the conservation land, not in the footprint that, that was handled. Right. None, of the, roof, none of the Route 14, the other side of it, right? It is right, right. on the edge, so we probably have to verify. Well, I, uh, is it one or two projects? That's what I'm asking. Because the insurance to go in the work print area that and then on a right away in the road is, is like about five times the regular insurance. Well, okay, it's in it's in the road. It's got to have in what right has away. to be done has to have right away insurance. Coverage. Right, right away, but the work zone. There's yep. a work zone thing too, so you have to have the whole thing for up and down the street and in behind Herringbrook. Yeah. When we're doing I mean, it, if if it makes a big difference in cost, why right, it could be done in two projects. Right. Well, that's what I need to know. Okay. It, and actually, in fact, it may be better to be done in two projects because the project that's in the road layout right. is very time sensitive, yes. where we have more time on on the stuff on the that's and, on our land side. Right. But the road stuff is really time sensitive because they're they're working in and around it all the time now. Yeah, they're um, it's pretty much I walked it. I had a police escort just sit because, you know, my sister's thing there, so I just wanted to be comfortable. And uh, I walked it to the tape, and there was nothing within those areas at the moment that I could detect. But outside of that, and on the other side of the wall, right at Pudding Brook particularly, I'm going to, the fair's over, so I'm going to start deadheading with the suit I have. And uh, my unit, I got one volunteer, so we'll start deadheading everything we can deadhead. And, uh, but the fall is the right time to apply. Yeah. Um, that way you get both years and make sure this, this year is dead and the next one coming up is dead and then another application when the other plants come up in the fall again. So it would be a two application event. I learned that. That's what I've got. Next. Any discussion? Um, that's what we have to find out. What's lawful, what we agree upon, um, and, and what is what they do. I'm not familiar with that. So that, per that person is going to check yeah, it out right and let us know? Okay, he's cool. out of Pember. I need that back though. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, he's right out of Pember. Yeah. And uh, they do cool. handle all the different uh, lawns in the town and different properties and long roads and stuff, and they spray Good. their uh, products. So he'll look at it and give us a rough yes. idea or a possible? Yeah. Well, possibly just get the falls coming. So I told him as soon as we could get down there. So I call him in the next few days. He'll get on it with me and we'll get a, an answer. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you. All right. It's now 7.40. I'm going to open the hearing, uh, which is an RDA for Hazelwood Drive under Krauss. 
Hey, come on up, sir. Yeah. 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 Come on up. What's your name, sir? Uh, Brian. Hi, Brian. How are you tonight? Good. Very good. Thank you. What uh, what brings you in tonight, Brian? Uh, I'm Hazelwood has been developed. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, what he's talking about was the steel one. Put it on the road on the backside. Which is too much wetland and then the crossings and moving for about two and a half years, yeah. and finally they decided to drop it. It wasn't worth the, the effort to go get into the federal rights. These are all just kind of level. The wetlands, but you know. The gra is gravel or on for this border. This is just, and also just a lot of hot pan, the, pan in that yeah, whole the area. Soil. Nice gravel on the coast of hot pan. So any place the hot pan I, I comes up higher than the, it, I, I the gravel, it just pockets a little bit of water. Graziano ahead. This should be a gravel pit for Graziano. I don't believe it. Oh, no kidding, huh? Before the subdivisions went in. I have people doing, I'm going to GC it myself. So I have subs for each of the different. I got to have some trees cut down. I got to have some six trees taken down first. That's the first one. I don't know personally. Order of business. Okay. And then, you know, dig. That's 52 feet away and it goes uphill there. Now it's coming up. It's uphill this way anyway. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. This berm is yeah. a little left there. Um, what was that? Okay. I see the I, where it's a point, I don't see it as a big threat. I think it, 
what we have to look at is that area that we're getting in to 25 feet. Actually, even along there, we're going to have to put in a vegetated barrier in that area. In other words, which area? The 25 feet. The 52, no, the 52, yeah. The 52 yeah. yeah. On that, what we have said in the past, you know, it's 25 or 25 to the leach. That's, that's, yeah. right. that's, that's 52. That's 52. Yeah, I'm yeah, reading it upside down. Yeah, it's 52 okay. feet from 52 the point feet. to the right. pool. So is either, that what it is? Either, yeah. The defense first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned it the upside down way. Now, now it looks better. <laughs> now it looks better, yeah. Uh, but even then, what? Well, we usually require a vegetative barrier any time that we're working. What's a vegetative barrier? Shrubs of some sort, a shrub line. Yeah, shrubs. Uh, and why? What? What is there for? I mean, to be really, is that it's very tempting for the uh, homeowner to dump his lawn clippings yeah. into the the wetland. And so we usually try to make it a little harder in the areas where we're close to the to the wetlands. Yep. And so, you know, uh, you, different lengths, whatever the situation calls for, uh, approvised. But now you're going to have a pool. You, well, where would your fencing for your pool be? Um, that's still kind of a point of discussion between my view and the wife's view. Um, how, basically how far away from the pool itself, yeah. essentially. I, I like it to be far away from the pool. She wants it to kind of be closer to the pool. Um, yeah. But, you know, it'll probably be somewhere in the What I was going to say is, no. Far away being how many feet? But you've got a funny wetland line there. I still, uh, I think, I think shrubs are... I'm going to do a, so the way it's laid out right now is um, eight feet of concrete on each side, uh, six on the far, on the far on the back and then eight on these, and then we have a patio coming off the house here that's going to be reworked to connect into a little sort of mouth at the top of the shower, and so it's all kind of paved or whatever. So the fence will be no closer than, I mean, even if it's right at the edge of the concrete, which I won't like, uh, it will be no closer than eight feet to the pool. So you, you're talking uh, 44, 44 feet. feet from the I'd like to see it. Even with the outside of the fence, she's looking 40 feet from the fence line to the to that point right there on the wetland. The earth strip for secure. And that's taking that's giving them 12 feet off the off the side, four feet off the concrete path. I just don't like looking 40 feet. that have fences like when you're in them, you just kind of see them. I like to feel like there's no fence. Some sort of landscape on the side growing something. Yeah, like some grass, maybe the ocean pit or something inside the fence line. Rather just kind of have it. My neighbors have a pool. They have a pool like right here, and the fence is like right at the edge of the concrete. And there's nothing against it, it's just we get all the space. I'd like to. Yeah, I think I understand what you're saying. I want to be closed in, in, in your pool. It's an yeah. open space. Yeah, exactly. This, this wetland area are right closer. This tree bound, it's got trees now in it at all? Or is the it all? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a mix of dead and alive. You look back yeah. there, it's, you know, it's, it's woods. I've never walked in it. Yeah, right. um, I've walked around it. So it's one of those places. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just bad. I mean, we, I, we we go this way to go hiking, like, to the course, and there's some trails back there. I think I've got to take the kids along, but I, I never go this direction. It's just, it's all over road, whereas this is kind of pathed out. I think, again, whatever you do, where you're disturbing the soils and stuff like that, again, um, storage of the soil, what's going to happen? They're taking it out. You're going to use it somewhere? Uh, I'm, I'm, most, well, I will say the plan right now is to use all of it, to, to push it all escape. back into here to level it. Yeah, to behind terrace, here is all. The terrace of yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, I think that. And I know that what are you using for a filtering system? In other words, we need to, we'd like to know how you're going to get rid of your wash water. So the wash water can't be directed towards the wetlands at all. Uh, in other words, okay. Um, that's a good question. I, I mean, I, I, I got to look at it. I'm, yeah. It's ideally going to be a saltwater pool because I'm not a big chlorine nice. guy. So, uh, so in other words, uh, we'll put. Awesome. Uh, we would prefer yeah. you didn't dump it so it's going to get into the wetland yeah, directly. 
yeah. assault is still a problem in the weapons. So yeah. Okay, no, that's fine. Have we dealt with a saltwater pool before? Huh? Have we dealt with a saltwater pool wash up before? Not, I, 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 not that I can remember okay, that we've had a saltwater. Better figure out what we're doing. <laughs> it's got to be better than chlorine. Uh, I don't know. Chlorine comes from saltwater. Again, the, so. you, the pool people know, we, but as well, long as you okay. keep in mind uh, that we uh, no, we don't we hope we don't want it just dumped over the top of the ground. Right, right. Yeah. No, I wouldn't I mean I'm running pipes or anything back into the weather. No, no, it would have to be a like what a sump? Some sort of a sump system to catch it. I, I think being as you're going to have to fence the pool in any way and the wetland is already right behind your house and if you haven't filled it with grass clippings by now, then you aren't you you aren't yeah you <laughs> aren't going. For me, I, think <laughs> I, I think we can get away without any of our vegetated barrier on this one. Yeah. Again, yeah. I, I I would just walk it and make sure it's you know yeah. that yeah. type of wetland that we don't have to worry about. Uh, <laughs> some sort of a sump with the swimming pool, a standard salt water sump, whatever they do. I, I, I don't know about so I don't know about pools anyway. I'm not a pool. Uh -huh. I just a full person. When you say washout, do you mean end of season? Is that what, you mean? what? Whatever filtering system you have. In other words, what, whatever you take out, out in your filters. Yeah. They pump it, bypass it backwards, and flush it out. Yeah. If that's got salt in it, that would accumulate and get the irrigation out the west for half of the uh, the, the west with the salts. Uh, okay. Chlorine dissipates yeah. off into the air. It's from salt water. Some of the pools you'll use diatomaceous earth, and right. it comes out and, and clogs at the end. That yeah. Just so that you know it doesn't to get flush. pumped. The main thing is it doesn't. We don't want it pumped, so we don't want us to be able to see it in the wetland. Yeah, right. no, I think a lot of sets yeah. up pretty good for that because this way it goes. To, like, but I think yeah, just we all used to salt was responsible for it, and then sodas, those two things, wiping up many fields over the years. I'm just putting. Idea. Yeah. 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 It was a backwater system. I don't even know what they do. Yeah, Can I see that pool? Can I see this one? This one? Yes. Oh, the red one's got it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the red one. Yeah, we'll run that. We talked about it. Get it for me and I'll read it. Wood chips on the upside. Yeah, yeah. Wood chips on the upside. Four inches of wood chips on the sock. The upside. Change it. What do you mean by the upside? Yeah. Put the socks down. Yeah. Just the grade is the sock. Yeah. Put the wood chips up here at the bottom. Yeah. It just stops the smaller socks from blowing going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. The wood stakes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. On safe. We have a motion to close the hearing. Second. And it's seconded. Yeah. Vote that anyone move. Okay. Uh, need a vote to close it. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we'll issue a negative three uh, with erosion control consisting of either double staked hay bales. A silt sock having a diameter of greater than 12 inches on the area that would be facing your wetland. And that the conservation agent be notified before we, when the hay bales are in and before you do work. Okay. Any second on the trees, right? I can get the trees down. Oh yeah, you can, yeah, you can cut, yeah, yeah, cut okay. the trees down. Yeah. If we went to take a look at it um, and then decided it was something we need to change, is that possible, or yeah. or if we vote on it now, is that the that's the final decision? Oh, we can always we can always okay. get, put something else in if we if you need if you need to. Okay, right. I think it's alright, but I'd like to take a look at it too. Well, right now, there's, right now there's a motion on the table. All right, I'll second it. Okay, so the motion has been made to issue the negative three and seconded. 
now. Okay, now. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I, oh, we're done. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if you want to, if you guys want well, to no, set we'll up just at, at his discretion. I mean, I'm free all the time. Okay. So. Let's work through the office together. Oh. Whatever that's done for the office would be fine, right? Yeah. Or you can call direct. Okay. If you want my number. Yeah, sure. Can, can we have your phone number? Yep. It's, uh, my right. cell is uh, 781. One second. Maybe, maybe just want to write it down. It's on TV. Right. Uh, Unless I'm going to edit that out. Not uh, that it's a big deal, oh, but right. it's your, yeah, yeah, right. your information on, you know what I mean? My phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. I'll come back to bite me. No, you know what I mean. In today's day and age, you can't be too careful. Uh, right. That's a good catch. That's why I offered my phone off. You're probably not going to agree that either, so I'll write it again. <laughs> All right, so the motion has been made and seconded to issue a negative three uh, RDA on this uh, project. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Okay. Uh, end of the week? Anytime. If it's low tide, it'll be floating in the North River. What's your first name? I get some lobsters thrown in your tank. Awesome. <laughs> the kids love lobsters. They'll be a hero. Not again. Okay, we're good. Thank you, good. sir. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. That's an uh, option, actually, instead of the chemicals. Level, it's, all water. <laughs> it's now 7.57, and we're going to open the uh, notice of intent hearing for 40 Blackbird Drive. For Laterno, DEP file number SE56-969. Hi, how are you? Come in. Come, Come on up. Oh, yeah, sure. Your names, please? Joanna Laterno. Hi, Joanna. Hi. What's your name, sir? Doug Laterno. Hi, Doug, how are you? Andy Good Stevens. to see you. Hi, guys. Good to see you, sir. Oh, yeah. Hello. Have the abutters been notified? Do we have the green cards on file? The white cards? The new green. There you go, yeah. Uh, okay, so we already know who's present. And uh, what are we doing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. What's your project? What are you doing? Building a single family house. Right here. They're building a house on the best lot in the town of Pembroke. Really? <coughs> so, how are you? Are you interested? I don't know. <laughs> Hard work. Side on. I love the color. Thanks for the color. This is down in what we call Bird Hill. Oh, nice. I'll see what you're looking at. That well, alley. Everybody has a different yeah, color. All the rooms are so you got your pants. Sealants. Somebody has a sealant thing. Okay. This guy has a different coat. That the end work. of the cul de sac. Yeah. This here all is of this is the reservoir that goes with the Thomas Morgs and all up through here and all around that. Yeah. So it's just right Where's on the end of Where is Blackbird Drive? Right here. Uh, Crossroads, um, Valley Street, and uh, Forest Street. Okay. It's uh, Kevin Sealant put the road in about 10 years ago, I believe. Yeah. What's the water Sealand, water? Sealant subdivision. What's the body of water? I'm just curious. Uh, what's that? The old stump. What, what old stumpy or? Old stump pond or something, I think. It's <coughs> what, on the, the reservoir? Yeah, it yeah the it's Gummis. Gummis. It's John Hill Gummis' reservoir. Is it? Yeah. Old stumpy. Yeah, okay, yeah they're all old, right? old stumpy, yeah. Well, okay. some of them aren't old stumpy because some of them have been cleaned up in the last few years. I'd love to have the stumps. <laughs> <coughs> Right at the end of the cul de sac. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you're not kidding. 51.4. Okay. Because we're inside the field. Oh, it's a of any, any real oh, sort of oh, oh, what oh, makes oh. a little chalk right here. Yeah, right. Other right. than that, it's good, good distance except for that. Yeah. 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 That one yeah. is, yeah. 51, I thought. 50, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
there's no wetlands lines there at all? I'm sorry? No wetlands lines? Yeah. Yeah, it just should the be. Just a big uh, flood. Yeah, they're right there on the corner of those. Way back. They're so far back, I didn't see them. Yeah. Well, it's within 50 from the yep. rear corner and 51.4 yep. yeah. in the other. And everything else is state. And This is second spot. So this will be the existing system and this will be reserved area for the next time they have to replace okay. it. This is all standing. Don't worry about Does this. the conditions there, Mark? Don't worry about anything. It does the conditions. Yeah, it's it's the conditions. It's pretty much all, all our general boilerplate conditions. Should be fairly standard looking at it, right? There's good slopes all over this property. To the left. Is it's 25 feet to the road side of the scope. Mm -hmm. I think this is pretty standard. We have a kind of a standard boilerplate that we write for all, all of these that covers about everything that could happen. And this is, this doesn't, I don't see anything here that's out of the ordinary that needs anything anything special on it. So I move we close. I second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to close. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think I got a slow move. I move we build in accordance to plan with our standard order of conditions. Second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, is there any further discussion on it before we vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. This is all the plans, right? Yes, that's everything. Yeah. Opposed? None? Okay. Uh, please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has a right of appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. It looks like a great one. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Black locusts, let me know. Just still looking for black locust poles. Uh, and ask them if they can some here and there. Yeah. <laughs> they, they last for 50 years in the water, in the ground. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, then they, they're not in the continue. They continue with the sand rat one? It looks like he's here for that. No, that's a continue. We, we opened it last week. Yeah. It just means that we continue. We're going to have a tonight. All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tonight. Oh, that's the original one. It just means it was already opened. Perfect. This is the uh, Anred, which is the wetland line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was going to go out and walk out. Very good. Thank you, you too. Okay, it is now 8.05, and we're going to reopen the ANRAD for 73 Taylor Street in the Cook DEP file SE56-967. Come on in. Good evening, members of the commission. Good evening. Brian Holmes with Environmental Consulting and Restoration, assisting with the ANRAD 
for 73 Taylor Street. And um, we continued the AMRED last time after the opening of it so we could uh, meet with a peer review consultant being uh, Phil Clement, Health Associates. And Phil was out and reviewed the line and he had a, a recommended changes in this region here, which were met with Phil on Friday. We moved to uh, Flags 40 to like 43, um, maybe three to five to six feet um, in, a, in a few locations. And then there was one other flag that where I had kind of cut across, uh, there was a little kind of swale coming in. Phil thought it would be uh, a good idea to move it up, and I agreed with him and moved this flag. So that flag and a few flags in this region was the result of his recommendations, which we agreed upon. and. Uh, hung in the field, measured it, measured in the field. The changes have been added. Bill's prepared a report, and we're in agreement. Uh, so we're uh, hoping to uh, hopefully close it with you folks. Okay. This is a case where the professionals have done their work in the field, and it's just going to establish a line so that in their future, Engineering and thought plans, they know what they can and can't do out there. Move it close. Second. second. All right. Motion's been made and seconded. Um, any questions or anything else, sir? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Will we accept the ANRED? Plan. Do you have a number in the drawing? Or uh, something that we can use to reference? Sure. Uh, revision, revised wetland line dated 82916. Okay, and also, I want to put into the records that the ANRA or RAD does not include the flood zone line. That's so there's, there's no question about it. It's sure. a, right. We're accepting the wetland, but not anything to do with the flood zone. Right. The, the flood zone is a, it's a FEMA A zone where it doesn't have an elevation to it. So it's uh, overlaid you know, digitally. Um, and if the notice of intent is filed for any work and, you know, that it, and there's activity in those regions, then the commission has the opportunity to uh, investigate it further because we haven't asked for, for that exact confirmation. But just so you know, it's a, it's an A zone where they don't give you an elevation. You know, if they had like A E, a, if, it was, if it was an A E zone with an elevation of like say, say ten feet, that we could nail it on the site. Yep. But if it, it's just kind of hanging out in space, as, as in FEMA, so that's yeah. what it is uh, here. Okay. All right. So All right. Motion for me. Yep. Okay, so the motion's been made that we accept the revised wetland line uh, of 82916 for DEP file SE 56-967. Seconded. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? None. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Okay, it's now 8.10, and we're going to open the Notice of Intent hearing for 216 Matakesit Street, the Ricci, DEP file number SE 56-970.
Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? Well, how are you? Good, Hello. thank you. Your name, sir? Brian Ritchie. Hey, Brian. How are you? Hey. And you have the green couch? Yep. Okay. Curious as long as you do what we want to do. Yeah, because I was even looking at this and I'm like, wow, this is a corner house. Yeah, for this point, I said, you know, they don't have a lot of room. Yeah, for this point. Well, we're going to have a lot of room. Where the old system is. Oh, this is just a new system. Oh, that's just a new system. That's what it costs me, right? Yeah, here's another one. That's good to go. We'll do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> what do we know in the way We're going to have to put it out later on. If there's anyone who has any questions, no, just time to start asking. Okay. Taking the system out of here, helping us. You know where the, you know where we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. What's there that you're taking out? Or are you taking anything out? What do you have for existing leaching? Is this the system already in? Yeah. It's already in. Yep, and it was just uh, inspected before we bought the house okay. with the Title V, and they went through it and they said that it was in good shape. Good. Which was good news. That's, That's always the hard good part. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> to not have to take one off the pond is a, is a good thing there. Right, right. And is there an existing house that you're taking down? No, we're not going to take anything down. The existing house is going to stay. Okay. And we're just going to add, add on to the side. The lot's like long. It's, it's like almost rectangular. And so we're going to add on to the side. That's existing. Of, so this would be. Yeah, so All right, so this front part's there already? Is it? Yeah, so. Yeah, this right here. This, uh, right here. Okay. With this existing right, and this, setback. So this is this part? Right. right. Yeah, the, the little. Wing. The, this is existing. Yeah, with that's, okay. right that's the front door. Okay. This that's existing. Right here. Yeah. Um, this is what you want to do with it. Is this a walkout in the, up, up the elevations here? Yeah, you just you pull in the driveway, you walk right, <coughs> right in. Right in. No, it's a walkout the back, too. There's no cellar. Yeah. It's a pad yeah. that you you're going to be building on. Yeah, yeah, you walk right out. Right. Yeah. You're right. going to be building on a pad. Engineers. A four foot frost yeah. wall yeah. and fill in or yeah. cellar yeah. or yeah. crawl space. It's going to be, right now, there's actually already a foundation in that the years ago, because. The lady was the going group. to do this. Yes, house. they were going to do it. So okay. right now it's, that's there. it's prepared to go. No, it's it's all dug. Yeah, it's very but animal is dug. the foundation in? Yet? You haven't poured yet. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. this yeah. is yeah. all existing. It's so, an old block. So you're going to put it. 
do you want to use that or take it out or go? What do you I'm going to take where the, the flood bottom. Bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're going to have a crawl space yes, or a cellar? It's going to be a full so, size so. basement with a, with a walk. A walk out, okay. Just what's existing you now. Yeah. The pond's here, but you know, yeah. where's the flood line? Where's the. You know, right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not a whole lot of information here never, as far as yeah, elevations like and. Yeah, you should have an an oh, you have a copy of this. An engineer yeah, plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have an engineer plan. That's the point. Well, we, we have that. We'll just let you have that. Okay, that's what I need to show you. Exactly. Where to go? That's right. Guys, this is also uh, you guys kind of yeah. for discussion tonight. We're yeah. not going to approve got anything. Because okay. okay. we don't have an engineer yeah. plan stamped from the DEP. Yeah. Already all existing. So without that. But so we're just we we're actually taking from here and then we're going down. Out. And this is already all dug to here. Yeah. So this is going to have to be dug uh, just four feet for the foundation for that. And the same thing. Uh, four foot distance, not down. Yeah. But, uh, yeah I'd have to, again, have to have more discussion, like you said. I mean, obviously more information um, to look at actual Engineers plans basically, I would think, on this house. But maybe not. Maybe the board thinks. How many more? Let me take a look now and see if that How many bedrooms yeah. are in it now? That one's uh, How many bedrooms are in the house now? Two. It's so going to stay two, too. It's going to stay two? Yeah. This is all living space? Yeah. So it's basically, it's just me and my wife, so it would be just a spare bedroom. Another bedroom in this, or you going to no. sleep to two? No, the two okay. is staying right in here. Right here, I got you. This will all be living space. This will be a crawl space, the guy's asking. Yep, yep. And this is a full foundation, eight foot walkout. Exactly. And this is where you're saying I have to dig a little more this way? Yeah, just a little like, bit more. Just like this way? Yep, that's okay. it. So. So what's the water table at the bottom of this? I'd like to know. Just on the bottom of the floor, just so you know, too. Um, you don't want a floater. No, no, I need to actually talk to... You know, in other words, if it is, you might want to check it because it's a lot easier to put in a, a sump system before you... Yeah, I think I'm going to anyway. I'm going to put in French... I, I, French I was strength. thinking about it, yeah. I mean, it can't hurt to... Yeah, I, honestly, probably, yeah, so you have to figure that out. And then what do you do with a French drain, drain these days? I don't know. Usually they would go to a dry well or... Yeah, I, so but I, there's, not, uh, there's not a, uh, never a drop of water in all the time we've been there. And the lady who owned it before, she's actually a uh, 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 secretary for the zoning board. Her husband grew up in that house. It was built in 1930. And she said, never has it ever been a drop of water in the basement. And I said, well, that's good to know. Once you increase your runoffs and this much roof space, if you don't do it, the right way, you can end up with that water in your soil yeah, that you've yep. never had before, too. So I agree. Just plan so you don't have that problem. Yeah, I appreciate and all those it. Things. And they're redoing the roadway in front of you, too. Yeah, they're putting the sidewalks in, and yeah. it'll look nice. That looks like quite the project, huh? They it just is. did that where we live now in East Bridgewater. They just did really? I'd want to look at the site. Yeah, yeah. it goes all the way from the 53 down That's to the site. Yeah. continue because we need it. Yes, a lot more information. <coughs> Move that we continue into September. Uh, September 19th at 7.50 p.m. Did you need these? Is you that, want to keep them? Is that enough yeah. time? Yeah. To, 
Is that enough time to get the en engineer? Yeah, plans I put in a phone call into him. Um, yeah, one was hot copy anyway, sir. Yeah, it was in the file. So. It is. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I put a phone call into him. I'm just waiting to hear, but uh, uh, he came recommend it to me from the town hall. Sure. The architect here, Chief. This is Lineal, uh, Lineal Incorporated. Yep. Uh, he actually said, if you need to know something, I'll give you something. When you know it was the same, it was the yeah, same right, person. Yeah, right, right. Well, it's more the engineer plans on yeah. Yeah. on the site work that, that we're very interested in, especially being that close to the water. That's a building plan. But uh, if and when you can get those, we'll have uh, September 19th at 7.50 p.m. Does that work? Yeah, that's sure. Okay. okay. Close. The motion has been made to uh, continue this until September 19th at 7.50 p.m. We have some visitors they won't have that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you folks have a concern with anything? Oh, no, I'm, I'm your neighbor. Oh, okay. Um, I was just wondering how, how far away from the property line it, it needs to be. Is the addition going to end up? I think it's in 36 feet. So you're on the left side of the house, the 30, at its closest point, 34.9. Did you want to check it out? So that's how far? 218. Yes, 34 feet, 9 inches. And if, if that's within anything, then obviously the zoning board of area would have to issue a variance. I'm not sure what the code is on that, how far it's going to be. Okay, where it's going to be away. So. So Looks like it's 30, 34 so feet, 9 inches inch inch at the closest no, point. Next to in the corner. But that's for the garage, too. You're not having an upstairs on the garage? I'm putting it upstairs, upstairs in storage. I'm not right there. Okay, so it's unfinished. Yeah. So it's actually even further from the house. Where's that there? On the other side of the room. Oh, yeah. the house is from the house. It's, uh, yeah, the whole garage. Where the garage is. Okay. I think the garage is like 26. And it actually shows 34, yeah, 34.9 to 36.2 on the edge of that property line if you're on that. That's assuming the fence is on the property line, which it should be. And then, I think it is. Right. Yeah. But I don't even know where the property line is on the other side of the wall's house. It's not, there's like eight feet between the two houses. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was that. I know. Yeah. Okay. I know. They did that. It's funny. All like the cottages are all like like one on top of the other. A lot of times, their uncles or relatives in the next house, things yeah. like that. But, yeah, we need more information and uh, yeah, yeah, I'd so like to look at the lot if that's possible. That's existing. So, we're we're still right? yeah. looking at the herring there all the time, anyways. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's just it's fairly high there. It's. it's it, it goes like this, it slopes down. I never really realized how much of a slope it is, but that's where the, the wall probably would be. Just Any other questions? The garage is out. So I don't have much of a yard, but I don't want to We're coming from a big yard. Then, then we'll dredge the pond, and be all set. What's that? Then we'll dredge the pond, and you'll be all set. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you should see the in our lifetime. That, you should see the stuff that we're just, like, wading in the water where we took out of there. Pieces of rock. Oh yeah. yeah. It, that's because the the town board next door, right? They own that cranberry box now. Yeah. Yes. Across the street. And, yeah, and I heard that was for like the treasure machines. To Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the permitting was quite intense and expensive, and just to do you know. anything is in there. I heard about it when I was ten. I'm oh, Sixty-three yeah. now. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So that's then, not good. <laughs> well, must be getting close. Yeah. <laughs> the motion has been made and seconded to continue it to uh, September 19th at 7.50 p.m. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. If that works you, if you can come up with the plans ahead of time and submit them to uh, Mary. Sure. We're just going to continue it. Not, we're not going to close it, so you shouldn't need to re-notify or whatnot, but... If you have any questions, you can certainly ask us too. Okay. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Uh,
We have ongoing business, Medication Ball Fields. Can I? Oh, you have a mail for Okay. Bernie, you want the mail? No, no, no. If you're not done with it, no, absolutely not. Um, anything new on the Mattachisa ball fields? No? I, I think it's time that we uh, get that straightened up. So, is that what, the tree thing? Yeah. Oh. What, what do you think we should do? It's, it's, it's apparent that the recreation department oh, owes us some trees, trees. basically. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do we proceed with that? I, I think we have to draft, if I may. I would think so, yeah. Uh, I think I did some reforestation on the 300th, and I think what you got to do is have a plan of where the trees are going to go. Precisely. What type of trees are going to be, the size of the trees and the number of trees. Right. Granted, the size may change the number of the trees. Yeah. So I think we need a plan. I'd love to get some North Atlantic white cedars and keep going on bog 12. It's a 97 foot, foot deep peat bed that just starting to get covered. Um, or other, other uh, input. I know Scott wanted to get some big elm trees and put them at the ball field, appreciate at the ball field. Um, I'm open to suggestions, but I think divide it up, don't just throw it all in one spot. Yeah, right. I think, Rick, what we had, Scott had talked about was that we have so many small trees. In other words, we were, yeah. they, they committed to us so many small trees. Yes. That was, that was what was committed. Right. As we, if we start looking for Specialties yeah, and or we'll bigger trees, we've got to kind of yeah. offset, you know, yeah. what whatever it is. And they had talked that maybe a few trees beyond the fence on the outfields of some of those parks would be good for shade in the future. Yeah. Uh, but you know, one big tree might be worth 200 small or whatever. Small I mean, ones, right? somebody will have right. to do that right. that calculation. So it's that as far as the smaller trees that like you want to plant, yeah. I think you're right. If we need to have a plan as to right. where they're going, you know, where we're going to put them, make, and how many we're going to need, you know, so a lot goes into it. Cause you have you have it here, but we really right. need to have it on, on paper. paper. I mean, we planted <coughs> uh, years ago when we had stick trees. We we used to plant them on six inches apart because. We figured only every third one was gonna gonna live, and then you, and after a few years, you pull the other ones up, so you, yep. you've got a good, good nursery started. Yep. <clears throat> but again, that go that falls under you more, but we get need it on paper, so we can tell all these people I, I would we want X number of this, and we need them. We need to know when we want them. I mean, yep. we don't want them coming in the twenty fifth of January. When there's two foot of snow on the on the area, but do you have anything in writing that says that they agree to X amount or yes, <coughs> the amount the amount was specified was yeah. two thousand four hundred <coughs> trees I believe were the, cut and it's triple <coughs> it's and triple yeah, so and, it's and three to one ratio. There's, the story behind it all is when they wanted to put in the new ball fields at Madagascar, sure, sure. that was all Tom Forrest and. They wanted the ball fields, and we wanted to keep the forest. And through negotiations, we finally said, "All right, well, rather than have ball fields all over town, we'd be better keeping them together. But if you're going to cut our trees down, we want you to guarantee that you know, we have some other trees we can plant somewhere. We don't have any place to plant them right now, no. but you no, know, they're in the bank, so that when we come up with an area, we can come to the to you people and say we want." This and you're going to have to know to it, and that's and they agreed to it all. It, just <coughs> it really wasn't it recreation either. It's really too. boys, boys yeah, baseball you know, that yeah. agreed, but boys baseball goes to recreation sure. and recreation it's comes to us because it is our we're, we're responsible for all. It's a 97 foot deep yeah. peat bed that they want to dig out, put <coughs> pond in there, so we wouldn't own anything. Uh, then we don't own any water, so we wouldn't have any land even. Um, I still. Um, any trees that are left on any project in the future or from the past, <coughs> I'll gladly get them planted on bog 12. I like to do it, Arbor Day is nice and everything, but I find it's a bit hot and into the season. So I think any time. Where did you want to plant them? On bog 12. I still want to continue the North Atlantic cedar tree restoration around that. 
And it's a great spot because people what? intentionally walk through. Walk. Tell me about um, behind, the water department. Well, behind the water department, the peat bed, the low right. bog. Well, again, those are not our bogs, so we right. we well, need to get well, DPW's well, in, we, approval to do anything on that because right. they're not. As those, we, those bogs aren't under our control. As we did before, and everybody unanimously passed it, that's a good mm -hmm. species. We went through the, the wind um, testing and seven years here and there. And at the end of a long period, they, um, of the engineers, everybody else said that that was a great white cedar swamp, most likely, and that that's a good tree for that swamp. So I'd like to continue some work in there, and it is a project that already has the ground you know, work laid, and we just have to re revisit it, so to speak. We have the the uh, paperwork still. I have it when we did it in the tax free number for the whole thing. And that so, and then re forestry alone, um, I have grants. That every time we ask for these trees, they give us these grants, matching grants. And I have uh, several of them that are national grid grants for reverse thing. The trees they cut five, six, seven, eight years ago when they came through and cut everything hard. Um, the litigation on that pointed out that they needed to replace trees, so they have matching grants for like Lowe's Good Mattress and other places that did the reforestation project could reach back out and we could have grants um, to start our own forestry program, hopefully at the new farm, the conservation land, that that became a area we could do a actual nursery. We could take stock, put it there, grow it up, and then put it out as well on these jobs around town, doing indigenous stuff that's really climactically, you know, from here. And I, I know it's a species that was cut to the bone. It was the, the money tree here. That's why there's not a mature specimen left at the state. One of the grandest trees around here is gone. So I'm trying to replant that one. And bog 12 is a perfect one because it's boggy enough that the deer don't really like it. And people walk their dogs all the time around it daily. And that is so far I kept the deer, I shouldn't say this, off of the place. <laughs> and the black racers that lived at the old bog barns eat all the wolves. So, pretty good setup. That would be my proposal. I would like to think your theory with the deer are all right, but they seem to want to go any place with a dog or not. Uh, they are um, predictably Around my predictable hostel. that they'll eat anything. Yeah, all right. They'll eat anything. I don't, I've never seen something they won't eat. You know, stuff that'll kill a goat they eat. That's pretty tough. How about wild pasta? Um, <laughs> yeah. The hogs and the cows will bet you. Hey, how about your goats? We try them with some. Yeah, I can remember my goats out That might be, oh, you know, I'm, I am serious. <laughs> um, if they look, spray a little apple juice on it, we'll give them apples first and away they go. Sure. Just, just be careful when you pat them, it's at dark. It is transferable, that resin of the parsnip, for those that don't know, is pretty caustic, activates in the sun and takes your skin off. Uh, look online. Can I see the car wash? <laughs> but I, again, I just, I've been doing that project there. The trees are really taking, we've got good seed trees there and there's all different sizes and anytime we could have any extra trees for anything, I, I think. Both Atlantic white cedars are a great species. I, well, I you say, if, as long, if you have a project like that and something on some paper, I know we've had many times where trees or things have been offered, but yeah. if you don't have a place or someone to do it, yes. it's foolish to accept Absolutely. a bundle of trees that are just going to sit and die. And Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. But um, again, We'd have to figure out what they want. And I actually love the idea of the elm trees. They were destroyed here, and I, I think that's a grand thing to do. Um, as I, long as I don't have that. to cut them when they grow big. Well, oh, they can, like that ash tree yeah. down, <laughs> down on the side of the road still. Yeah. We can give that to somebody for a quart of wood, sell them a quart of wood, one stick. That thing's a couple of cords. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a chainsaw killer. But um, no, I, I still want to move forward with that project and keep it as an ongoing project. But I think, again, the grants that were brought up separate from the trees owed, they seem to be keep getting overlapped. Like, you owe us trees, well, here's a grant, you know. Maybe they could match the grant. <laughs> When's the they next time a, you can tell us They have a tax-free number. 
Probably. Then we could at least get them to match, do a matching grant. If nothing else, they gave us the grant forms. They have a number. When's the next time it's best to plant those trees? In the spring, any time after April. Okay. So we have a few months to get the plan yeah. of attack kind yeah. of laid out. So we yeah. have, you said you have the I other always one. feel the earlier you can get the trees in the ground. It's, it's like pe planting peas. As soon as you work the ground, get the trees in. As so long as possible. March or April? Yeah. Okay. So we have a few months to put something together yep. then and try to get it run, right? Absolutely. Now they have their fiscal year coming up in the fall, so um, that would mean that no right. matter what we did, they would probably put us off until next year with their fiscal year. Right. That's what they did this last time we applied for them. They We did it for the fall fiscal year, right? That's when we applied to us. Yeah, and I think that and Tom Meany's closed. They were, they were um, out of funds, they had no money, and gave us basically forms okay. to uh, do forestry. I like the, the grant forms. We should look at them as a team here because they are made them short forms. They, they can't give the money away fast enough, and they're in the mandate to do this. And if they don't do it, they get fined because their reverse carbon footprint process. So they're in a squeeze, and they're giving money away. I think we should look into it. Is there someone from recreation that we should put it in their ear that would be considering Yeah, I think you'll find it's things. easy to get it once you have some plan yes. that you can say. Right. Uh, yeah. I agree. That was kind of just uh, a test of the water to see where we stood. Sure. So to speak, yeah. when we, no, when that's completely for the water. Okay. For the trees. I would move that uh, no further discussion that we design a plan. Um, talk to Scott, get the input of other members on the board and anybody else who wants to uh, put in some work to get it done because that's in the end, like Bob knows, that's what gets it done. Yeah. yeah. No job is complete without the paperwork, right? And the shovel, right? <laughs> the back. Okay. going to close that. Uh, we also have on here 234 and 242 Valley Street. Right. Is that in the mail? This what are we, uh, there should be in the mail folder that we find. We've got confirmation from out. Yep. Copeland and Page that, that, uh, before. Revisiting that, 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 that everything is being brought to that yep. yeah. They can come back. Get my so info. we can take that off until they come back yep. in with an updated yep. place. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Okay. I'm going swimming for the next okay. two uh, All the other administrative businesses in the folder, right? Yep. Take my number anytime. Huh? Take my number. I answer. Let's go first. 781. Hold on. I'll show you what I've done with it. And we also have the... Huh? We didn't vote on this the other day? I think we did, yeah. This has been voted on, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's all signed, yeah. I think that's fine. The minutes of the meeting from July 25th that uh, were issued to us at the previous meeting? Three. Was there any questions? I didn't think we Four, four, four. From two no. weeks ago? No. Sorry. That's okay. Um, has everybody else looked at them yep. and read them? I, I know I read them that night. Rick, have you read the, the meetings when you do approve the yes, minutes from the 25th? I, I, no, I signed. Okay. Greg, you have? Uh, I don't think I've seen those. Think. Where you went the last meeting? We didn't oh yeah. Yeah, they oh. were given out then. Which we which close meeting was it? We don't have two weeks ago. Okay. No, no, I'm saying which oh, the meetings okay. for which? July 25th. Oh yes, I have. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Disregard. Do we have a motion to approve them or? Will we, we approve them? Is continue. July 25th. Okay. Motion has been made to approve the meeting minutes of July 25th, 2016, that were given to us on the. 15. Um, anyone second that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We're good. Okay. Has everybody else read the mail folder? Yes. Labor Day, holiday, and no meeting. The next scheduled meeting is. Um, September 19th, 2016 at 7.30 p.m. Move it close. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
That's what I was waiting for. Okay. Can you, can you not make that motion?